Whatever the reason you need a folder, creating them is easy. Let's start by opening File Explorer. You can either find it in your taskbar or you can search for it in the search bar. I want to create a new folder for some of my business documents. So I will create a folder called Business. And since I want to find it easily, I will create it inside my Documents folder. Here, I go to the top and click the Home tab, and then select New Folder. A new folder will appear in the list below. Notice the name of the folder is highlighted. Windows now wants me to rename the folder what I would like it to be called. Click within the name, select all of New Folder, and then rename the folder Business, and click Enter. There is my new folder. Now that I have my new folder, how do I create a file? To do this, let's go back into that new folder I just created. Once in the folder, again go to the Home tab and select the New Item drop-down list. We're now presented with a selection of new types of files we can create. Once we select one, like Microsoft Word document or text document, it will create a document in your folder. Once it is created, like when we created a new folder, it is waiting for you to rename the file. Let's say I'm an author and thinking of writing a new book and I want to create a list of types of book I may write. So let's call this file Book Ideas. Now that the file is created, we can open it and edit it. Okay, so I may have named that file wrong. Instead of Book Ideas, I should have named it Book Types. So now I need to rename the file. To do this, just find the file in the folder and click it. Then go to the Home tab and select Rename. Now I can rename it. Now that I think about it, I created that file in the wrong folder. It should have been created in a folder I've already created called New Book. So let's move it to that folder. To do this, select the file, go to the Home tab, and select the Move To drop-down list. There are several selections of where we may want to move that file. The folder I want to move it to is not listed, so I can select Choose Location. There is my folder. Select it and click Move, and it disappears from the current folder. And here it is in the new folder. That was pretty easy. Actually, I like it back in that other folder better. Another way to move files is to drag and drop them. To move this file back into the other folder, click and hold on the file, then drag it to the new folder. Then let the mouse button go to drop the file into the new folder. Now that I think about it, I'm not an author, so I shouldn't be writing a book after all. No one would buy it. So let's delete that file. If you do not need a file anymore and would like to delete it or throw it away, simply select the file, go to the Home tab, and select Delete. There, the file is gone. But don't worry, now you know how to create files and folders, rename them, move files from one folder to another, and delete files.